What a tease! He Young took the bull by the horns, after Ji Wook teased her with a kiss, by going after him for a kiss, at the end of the recently concluded episode 7, of No Gain No Love. Hopefully, this was just a teaser of their first kiss, as it'll be disappointing if this is it. Meanwhile, the night ends in a fight between Hei Young and Ji Wook, who have different reasons for the kiss. I must say that the friends, turned sisters are a chaotic bunch. One enters a fake marriage for employee benefits, another is in a polygamous relationship, and the other writes a web series she can't tell her friend and crush about. Who else laughed at the beginning of the last episode? It's a wonder Ji Wook and Hei Young didn't let the cat out of the bag, in their drunkenness. The way Ji Wook scooted out of the bed after admitting that he's her husband, had me in stitches. Meanwhile, something beautiful came out of their stupor, as Ji Wook expressed what their wedding ring meant to him. Hopefully, Hei Young will never have cause to take it off. What's more, it's only a matter of time before their secret is out. With the recent publication about the mismanagement of company employee benefits, HR might investigate the staff, and Hei Young hadn't registered their marriage because of her conscience. It doesn't help that Wu Jie overheard their conversation at the restaurant. In the preview for the next episode, his eyes shine like a rat who just discovered a bag of cheese, when Ji Wook's former boss whispers something to him. What's more, with their many slip-ups, his wife is starting to suspect that they're hiding something from her. Meanwhile, who else is rooting for Jiayun and Gyu Hyun? Jiayun finally finds out Gyu Hyun's identity as Ha Jun's boss. And Gyu Hyun is beginning to feel attracted to Jiayun. But it didn't help that Jiayun told him about her crush on his secretary, Ha Jun. Gyu Hyun practically begged for an invitation to Hei Yang and Ji Wook's housewarming party, just to see her. He even called Ji Wook brother, unaware that he's truly his brother. Makes you wonder how he'd take the news. Ji Wook already made it clear that he wants nothing from his father, so I don't think he'll let the chairman pit them against each other. The chairman might have been behind the publication, just to find something to hold against his son. He told Gyu Hyun it was his last chance, and had instructed his secretary to proceed with the operation. The publication could be among the operations. However, his wife is on to him. She suspected Ji Wook's identity during their dinner together. She knows he had a child with the secretary, and his keen interest in Ji Wook must have given him away. Meanwhile, Gyu Hyun meets with Jiayun to clear their misunderstanding, but they run away because of her father. Jiayun is fearful of her father, as he abused her as a child. The situation and her tangible fear, finally make Gyu Hyun realize how hurtful his comments had been. Her decision not to see him ever again, weighs on him even during staff briefings and presentations. Meanwhile, Hei Young and Ji Wook are at odds with one another, after their late night kiss. Ji Wook tries to make things right by reconciling with Hei Young, who's mad at him, to no avail. Hei Young decides to ride in the back seat on their way to work, ignoring Ji Wook's confession. Ji Wook told her in the last episode, that his body and mind are one, and his body goes where his mind is, indicating that his mind and body are with her, as he's in her house, instead of having a fling and dating as she wants. Ji Wook must have pulled away from the kiss, infuriating her. However, this doesn't stop Ji Wook from taking his husband role seriously. What's more, Hei Young told him she was getting confused about their relationship, because she was failing to distinguish between fake and real. Ji Wook reassures her of his feelings,
promising to patiently wait for her to clear up her confusion about them. They finally have their long-awaited kiss. What do you think was in the box? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you liked this content, give it a like, share, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell for all things wonderfully K-drama. Thanks for watching, bye.